folks, welcome back. Um, so, on, on till <coughs> my other reframe now, and this one's called the, I like to call this one the, the Scottish Connection. So I'm not leaving my, my Scottish brother and out, if you like. Now, I'm going to start off telling the, the Alexandra, the, the original pattern, many variations of this wee fly as well. So the hook in the vase is a part or a Camazon. Jesus, Partridge Patriot doubles in a brain. Um, B175 and size 8, beg your pardon. The thread is a uni thread 801 black that we're going to use. Now, just come in, get your thread started, sort of way where you want your wing to start. And then just take your thread and work your thread back. Now you want to try and keep your body as smooth as you can in this wee pattern because of the the flat silver tinsel. I'm just working my thread down past the point and then removing the, the waist tag of thread. Dye the tail. This is dyed red swan. You can see where I've used most of it. And I've been using that in some of the classic flies. So just got a wee pinch off here to get us started. So just take a, a few fibers off that what you like to see in the tail. Just measure this up. And I want this just roughly the length of the body or slightly longer. Then I'm just going to come around with three or four turns heading down the, the shank of the hook. Then just come in and trim this the length of your body. The rib, I'm going to use a silver wire. It's an ultra wire by UTC. Now on the original pattern it was uh, oval silver tinsel that was used or you don't have to put a rib on at all. You can lacquer it or super glue it. Whatever you like. Now, I'm just going to take my silver wire, offer this up to the hook, roughly about the same length as my cut ends. Take a couple of turns to secure the body. I'm going to use a size 10 uni meter, gold and silver. Just to cover it a wee bit quicker. So take a wee length of this off. Or you could use silver holographic. It's up to you. But you do get a good it's good value for your money with the silver and gold. Because you're getting the, the dual tinsel. Yeah. Straighten that up. Just offer this up. Just come around with a turn. Just make sure it's to the same level as the cut ends of the swan. And then just advance your thread forward nice and tight and as we all know it's a great perch fly perch fry, sorry imitation the Alexandra it's a great all rounder this baby this will catch fish for you all day long even in smaller sizes now we're just going to work up our Silver Mailor up the body. Just getting that nice sheen coming off the Mailor. A couple of turns will catch that in. Come in and trim away the waist. Then we can bring up our silver wire. Probably looking four or five turns of the silver wire up the up the body. Now if you're tan for fishing that's gonna protect it better than the oval silver tinsel. Then you can bend them, break away the wire. Just tidy up at the front and work your thread back down. Now you see at this point your tenor for fishing, just have a wee check, just make sure your your body's nice and uniform, it's nice and neat, there's no lumps and bumps on it. If you're fussy like me. Now the next I'm going to put on a haggle. This is just a black hand haggle. Now you can see the tips missing, but this feather's still usable. Just come in, just pinch the, the fibers at the top, just get yourself an area to tie in on, just offer this up to the, the hook, come around with a turn, fold the tip back, or what's left of the tip, catch it in, break that away, then just fold it back as you go. Now the turns are up to you here. 
with the haggle. If you're using a cock haggle, you probably need to take three or four turns. Right. Just gonna have a wee check. Just to see what I'm like. Just gonna put one more in. Just catch this off underneath. Run with your thread. Nice tight turns now. I can break that away. Now if you don't feel comfortable breaking it off, just just trim the, the haggle away. Fold everything back and work our thread back up. Now that's our nice black hand haggle on. Next you're looking some. This is Peacock Sword. Now the, the books will tell you that you're looking probably, I don't know, 10 to 12 fibers. I just take what I think I need. Just get them lined up. Just like that. Start for them up now. You can have the wings short. I've seen it tied really long near to the the back of the tail. Sort of way up to you. I like the tips just coming past the, the bend of the hook at the back. Just pinch it on top. Come around with a pinching loop. Just need to take turns just to see what way you're what way you're sitting. Right, I've got a wee stray one there, so just go back. Just come back in. Just to get them all sitting. Just run it through your, your finger and thumb again. Now it'll not matter once you once this hits the water, but this is for a frame, so we want the wings sitting as nice as we can get it. thread turns. Just have a wee check. That's all snag. Come and lift your waist. Trim that away. Then just tidy up the head and back up. Now, at this point, and this is the original pattern that we're tying here. So what we want to do is we want to put strips of red swan or if you've got goose up each side so we're just going to take about three strands just make get them sitting nice for yourself for this side just take a couple of turns just to see what way they're what way they're sitting, just have a wee check, have enough of that. And then we want to go to the other side of your father at this point, so you're looking at right and the left. And a couple of strands on this side now. I'm going to show you this, this side. Because technically I don't need to, because you're not going to see this side, because this will be against the the canvas. But just to show you the, the original pattern. Another couple of wee fibers, about three or four fibers. Uh, just get them to the to the same length. Just loose turns. Just let the weight of the bobbin hold those fibers for you. Just going to check the the length. Uh, happy enough for that. So just tighten up with your thread turns down. Fold the swan fibers back over on itself. Work your thread back up nice and tight. Keep this tight. Your thread tight, you can break it away. And then all we're going to do here, guys, is just build up the head. You want a decent head on this way. You're trying to imitate a, a perch fry pattern. Right. Keeping the thread tight, we're going to come in and just throw in a whip finish. Nice and tight, come in, trim away your, your tan thread. Right. A couple of wee ones there, and a wee bit wild on me. There you go, that's your wing. Then you've got your two strips of swan at the side. 
that's the original pattern but you can tie it you can put flesh in the tail lots of stuff flesh as an underwing the your peacock sword probably use a red mirror flesh or a red crystal flesh just a wee drop of super glue right the whole way right round and that's one that you definitely be a fish for brown trout wild brown trout on the Irish locks you definitely shouldn't be without that wee pattern in your box so that's another good wee fly for the beginner if you're new to the channel and you're new to fly time stick at it don't give up practice makes perfect and once you get into it it's what I like to call Belfast wee buns it'll be grand so tie a few of those up hopefully then catch you a few fish when the season starts as always many thanks for taking the time to watch guys really appreciate it uh, the channel doesn't work without usings um, until the next time take care of yourselves take care of your family and uh, see you in the next one alright guys so just to finish off the we Alexandra video that's the that's the flies then framed that's the the Alexandra there the Kate McLaren it's already on the channel and I've already tied you the the dunkeld so you can see the the types of you know it's waiting out for you the types of frames so you've got the Irish ones the Scottish ones you can put classics in there classic salmon flies um, it's up to you and it's just a you can give it away to people as maybe a Christmas gift or whatever something like that or a birthday gift um, and it just sort of way showcases all your hard work um, at the face so there you go anyway until the next time just keep on tan don't, don't give up don't be lost in pace and patience with the, the process and I promise you'll 100% you'll get there in the end cheers guys Bye.